Ball flipped ahead. Monahan head up. Monahan. Monahan. DeMello. Malay. Malay serving. Cano! Another goal. No one's doing it better in the league this year. Racing lead. It's just got such great buildup from Racing Louisville. You can see Fabianez is so happy. The players, you can just tell that that's something they've been looking to do. Expose that wide space. Borges and Kano have been sitting inside a little bit more inverted, and finally they're able to find that space wide, and who other than Kano to be able to put that away? Including their relative inexperience in the role. Kano, already a goal today. Fires, ball deflects, ultimately hits off the post. Just so good when she's in 1v1 isolation. Looks to go right at the back line. Griffiths trying to defend in the 1v1, getting a little help from Burns. This shot goes off. Deflection and with In the middle and the isolated 29. Ball over. Flint knocks it down. Hot on the line. Drops down and keeps it out. Flurry of chances right here. You'll see Taylor Flint come right through the middle. This is an incredible save right here from Hot. Just getting right in front. Enough defenders around. Bar. Bar. Cut back. Blast off the crossbar. Goodness gracious, it won't go in. And then perhaps an even better opportunity here. Alexa Barr in the 1v1 gets into the penalty area and Malay fires this shot off the crossbar. I thought that was going into that far side netting. Looking for a second. Barr settles, swipes through, sends the cross, Borges! Kick save away! Kano put it in front. Deflects out, Pickett pursues, Kano won't get there. Try and curl this away with the mellow. It is Pickett. Header wide. Four added minutes at the tail end of the first half. Sentinor. Good. Drop step through, shot, deflects off of Lund, and in! And Utah pole level! Olivia Griffiths, her first NWSL goal! Picturesque stuff from the rookie out of BYU! And it was great timing from her coming from underneath as the play started to go forward. A lot has happened down this left side. Ali Sintnor is here. Just gets a little bit. Ball lifted over DeMello. Up top, Flint. Hot. Over the bar. Even to get this much power on the shot from Flint was really impressive with how much space got broken down very quickly. DeMello does well to find her right here. Bedford's tracking just the half chance, just gets it on the left foot, gets it out, and Hot has a great... Howell. Oh, that's a wide open run. Bar! Deflected, follow, hammered in! It's DeMello! Not exactly sure how Barr gets that wide open on the far side, but just like that, Racing Lul figures out where is the space, how do we find the open person, and they get that ball across. It's incredibly good attacking from them, and then DeMello, just the recipient of great work from Barr there. She's the royalty at Lynn Family Stadium, crowned with a goal. DeMello waited 10 months for a goal. DeMello's got another today. Savannah DeMello from the spot. It is a two-goal Louisville lead.
this is an incredibly crucial moment from Savannah DeMello, not just for herself continuing her scoring, but for the team in this moment to extend the lead by two, especially only with 15 minutes left. Good interchange. Malay, Turner, DeMello calling for it. DeMello wide! A few feet off from a hat trick. This was the experience racing Louisville was trying to get fans today. Sentnor, Sentnor went for goal and Lund, a lively save, pushed out over the line always seems to find incredible power on her shot everywhere she is. You can't leave her alone. She finds some separation, a lot of movement. Sendor, another look. Teed up for Monaghan. Too much curl. Sears. Hogarth is in danger. Sears. Flint. Flint! Hot. Dropped off by Howell. Circulated through to Grande. This is a nice run, opening up Pickett. Serves, leading header, it's Turner! Her first NWSL goal! The year of the rookie continues, and Racing Louisville, one of the premier moments in their short club history. And this is huge for Racing Louisville, getting DeMello scoring, now they're getting Raylan Turner with her first goal. It's a great buildup from DeGrande, just taking on in that central channel, finds... Sentinel acting as the spear of the Utah attack, that broke down. Louisville trying to seize this moment. Sears. Oh, wow. Sears! Sears has everything. Racing Louisville have five. And Sears making moments matter at Lynn Family Stadium. A 5-1 thrashing. You could tell with Emma Sears in this moment right here, Malay finds play early, DeGrande looking over her shoulder, finds Sears right here in isolation. It's like blood in the water is going at it, 1v1, and you can just see that acceleration just to push it by. It's really been interesting to watch with Bevianez and this team is the ability to possess, her desire to have to be bravery in possession, but how that possession opens up space for them when the 1v1 to go forward. Here's 1v1 going forward, Sentnor 